Sorry about the delay, thought he needed a shit. Turns out I did, got there too late. Um, we just uh, want to say hello and uh, thank you for coming out. Whether it's to see us or not, either way, you're still here. We appreciate it. Look at those out of cop fuckers all over the place like a bunch of out of cops. Showing off at the start by playing brilliantly, bunch of cunts. Some jazz, and um, then we'll reflect on the fact that um, even though Dave Lee Travis got off this week, he had to rely on the Chuckle Brothers as a character reference. <laughs> I know what, I don't want to be accused or found guilty of sexual assault. I'll bring a couple of pedos along to speak on my behalf. Proper job. Good thinking, DLT. It worked, but fucking warped. Anyway, happy Christmas. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. No, no.
it's nothing like your music, but it's the closest we can get to play something correct. I love booze. Yeah. Can you not feel love booze? We might do that later. Yeah. I heard they're getting back together or something, something. I've never whacked so much in my life. <laughs> Only over cider, not them. Uh, this one's uh, this one we wrote for basically for all our crusty mates. Uh, we got loads of mates who are crusty punks. We're obviously not. Look at us. We're fit for fucking jury service and sitting in the dock. But we got we know loads of crusties and they're fucking lovely people. And uh, we wrote a song for him. It's called Doomy Punk. And it goes out to Atacom as well. <laughs>
Jesus. And this, uh, this next song, we, for, for, for years and years, we always wanted to be in a D-beat band. Um, so we thought the only decent thing to do to get in a D-beat band would be to sound like one. So we wrote a song that um, is a D-beat song. Give me a couple of seconds to play on my knob and I'll explain. Right, basically we wrote a D-beat song. Uh, part inspired by wanting to be in Discharge and uh, part inspired by a meme on the internet. There was a picture of uh, an American warplane flying over Syria, dropping bombs with the words, we'll free the shit out of you. So we thought, that sounds like a D-beat song. So technically people, for those of you that are too fucking stupid to understand, I'm sure there's not many here, but you'll know people. Um, this is called satire, okay? Or even sarcasm. We're not, in, we're not enjoying or glorifying war, we're taking the piss. But basically, if Barack Obama, Blair, Cameron, Cuntface, um, all the other fucking United Nations, all the other fucking warmongering toss bags got together and decided to form a band that sounded like Discharge or the Verrucas and write their first song, this is probably what their first song would be. And it's called, We'll Free the Shit Out of You. soldiers back through our town and arranging all these like fucking patriotic fucking parades parades and fucking shit they moved them to Bryce Norton but um, this song is all about um, bringing dead soldiers back from war and how fucking grim it is whatever your views on war fucking people we all know people we grew up with all fucking die for some other cunt's wishes war is shit don't matter what side you stand on fucking stop it just get rid of it this one's all about that it's called Nail in the Sky
So, uh, sorry, you're stuck with a pop punk song now. Uh, we fucking love you, lot. We got uh, to tomorrow. Tomorrow we get to play in Bristol with uh, both Vatacarp and Casual Nausea again. Fucking happy days. Proper job. This is, a, this is a pop punk song, and uh, probably some of the worst politics ever written by a 46 year old man. Makes this sound like I'm actually still six. Although, to be fair, I wish I was still six. Although, not anywhere near the BBC, obviously. <laughs> this one's called There's Something Wrong With You. Yeah. I forgot what four was. I was waiting for eight because um, Spunk's, uh, the Spunk band were all doing Cancel Eight. So. See, I was paying attention. But, should we count? Decision that went terribly, terribly wrong and uh, resulted in uh, sex changes and eventual suicide. Happy days indeed. So it's called Bruce Brenda David Death.
is a, is a really short song about wanting to kill yourself. It's called I've Had Enough, Gotta Get Out, Gotta Get Out, I've Had Enough. Now you all know the lyrics. Pick the right spot in the next 27 and a half seconds and feel free to join in with the words, not the suicide. Here we go. one of the epic trilogy of long songs. Uh, this is the shortest song we've ever ever written. We'll never write one ever this short again, I don't think. But um, uh, it was originally written about uh, two crazy women that we know who were actually competing with each other to see, honestly this is true, to see which one had the more severe mental illness than the other one. Only in our little fucking four fun to town could this be real. Or maybe Ipswich, you never know. But at least Norwich. Um, but yeah, so uh, but in the end it seemed more appropriate to de dedicate it to uh, right wing fuck nuts and bigots of all kinds anyway. Don't have to be right wing to be a bigot, but basically more of the fucking bigots on the right than the on the left. Anyway, we're in the centre. But anyway, basically anyone who wants to pick on anyone just because they're fucking different to them and they don't necessarily agree, fuck off. There's no need to be a bigot or a cunt or be horrible to anyone. Be nice, get shit faced, get sozzled, be happy. It's a way to fucking make a better world. Fucking racist and bigots and cunts. Song goes out to all of them. It's called Number One Retard. To out of cart for to casual nausea. This one goes out to spunk for Kendra the eruptions. Um, we, we haven't really got a song that's necessarily appropriate in terms of that. Um, but um, uh, they started their song, uh, they're set with a song called I Want to Kill Myself. And uh, this one's my suicide note put to music. So fucking happy days. And that's what it's called. It's called Happy Days. Um, see ya. Oh yeah, just in case I didn't say this one goes out to spunk for Kendra the eruptions. By the way. Now, 
is our last two songs. Thanks very, 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 very much for watching. And coming out to play on a Saturday, whatever day it is. Anybody know what the Chelsea Man City score was? Yeah, that's not helping. To who? Oh, fuck off. We said never asked. two songs. This is the only really, really positive song we've ever written. It goes out to all of you, every single one of you, for coming out and sticking around and supporting all the bands that you got to do. Fucking, that's the way to keep it going. Keep coming out. Keep fucking doing it. Hold on one second. Thanks very much. Big shouts again to Atacop for fucking being fantastic. Casual Nau Nausea for being absolutely fantastic as well. And then they're nearly losing an eye in the process. Proper job. And to Spock Volcano on the eruptions. Proper job wherever they are. They're around somewhere. Um, just thanks everybody. Enjoy it. Cheers, Rich, for putting us on again. Hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye. Cheers,
actually shouted one out as well. This one we might actually be able to play properly. This one's a cover. Uh, this is a cover by um, quite possibly the, the, the single most punk rock band that ever walked the earth. Uh, you may know him as Green Day. Uh, we know him as Green Day. But just to make it easy on you, make it palatable, we've added a tiny little smidge of napalm death to proceedings. So, uh, happy Christmas, thanks for watching, we'll see you again soon. Oh, and uh, just for mate over there, it's, a, it's also subtitled, don't want to be a Bolton idiot, for our friend Gambero up north.